Uh, yes, can I get the caramel salty hot chocolate, please? Tall? A tall salted caramel hot chocolate? Yes, please. Is that everything? That'll be it. That'll be 401. Great, thank you. You're welcome. So I got the caramel salted hot chocolate. I've got to say, this is the drink of the year when it comes to a nice warm beverage. If you want something that is just absolutely fantastic, we recommend, and I say we because Pastor Greg was the one to come up with this, uh, the caramel salted hot chocolate from Starbucks. And I'm going to explain it to you, but i got to get it at the window and pay for it, so I'll be right with you in just a second. It's hot chocolate is the beverage with whipped cream on the top, and notice that there is caramel swirl, uh, but the... Uh, highlight of the drink, surprisingly, is it has a light layer of salt on top of it. You wouldn't think hot chocolate and salt would go together, but it is an absolute surprise, and it is a delight. I recommend it to anybody. And so Starbucks, the salted caramel uh, hot chocolate, um, get it quick. I think it's a holiday special. Uh, I have a few announcements for, here for you. Uh, I have... Uh, a ministry announcement I'd like to give you, I have an event I would like to give you, and I also have a challenge I'd like to give you uh, for this Sunday. Uh, the first thing I want to mention to you is the ministry. Coming up uh, January 16th through February 23rd, uh, we're having our second pause initiative. It's our pause discipleship small groups. Uh, just very briefly, uh, what we believe here at our church is we, we do our small groups in six-week segments. And uh, we did our first um, in mid-November, uh, October, excuse me, end of October to the beginning of December. And uh, we're starting our second one, January 16th. Now, if you weren't part of pause, that's okay. Uh, the first time, we ask you, we challenge you, sign up. Uh, get part of a group. There's a group for you. Um, we have a group for everybody, from kids to teenagers to college age kids to seniors to uh, whomever. We have a place for you. Uh, something special about this particular pause in the six weeks, uh, we're going to take six weeks and study uh, through a book uh, by a guy by the name of Timothy Keller. I think you've seen uh, the promo videos. We've shown them in church. We've talked about it a little bit. Um, but it's called the book's called The Prodigal God. Um, and we are making it available to you as a resource to go along with the six-week sermon series um, starting January uh, 16th. And so um, if you would like the book, put your name down. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to order these this coming week. I was a little bit off on when we had to order them. Um, so if you're interested in, in getting a book, write your name down today or sometime this week. Call the church. Uh, let us know that you're interested in a book, um, and we'll be able to order that for you. If you're in, and I know this is far, uh, seems far away, uh, but it'll be here before you know it. But February the 6th, um, it's a special time of year for a lot of people. Um, it is the Super Bowl, and uh, here at SG1, we're going to host a Super Bowl party. Uh, the game is being played uh, in Dallas, Texas this year. Um, it's always a fun time. Uh, the Super Bowl starts at 7 o'clock p.m. on February the 6th, and we're inviting anybody who wants to come to come. We'll give you a challenge as a church. Um, starting January 10th, we're going to restart all our ministries. We've kind of uh, had a break through the month of December, through Christmas season, uh, and, and into the beginning of the new year, but January 10th, uh, we're really just starting off our ministries again. We just want to let you know that there are many opportunities for you to be involved in here at SJ1. And uh, we're challenging you, if you're not in, plugged into something, uh, to get plugged in. Um, and there's many opportunities to do that. We have three new children's teams starting up. And I know that the leaders in those teams are going to need some help. And if you're interested in working with children, uh, what a wonderful opportunity to be able to do that. Uh, but we also have uh, greeting, greeting teams, ushering teams. Uh, we also have cleaning teams and prayer teams. Uh, there's multiple ways to get plugged in. And uh, this is our challenge as pastors to you for the new year. Get plugged in and get plugged in early. I hope that uh, you guys have had a wonderful 2010. It's been a great year together. I know Christmas has just come by, but I do want to wish you a happy, happy new year. Um, we are praying about 2011. We believe God is going to do some wonderful things, and I hope that you can be part of those things with us here at, here at SJ1. Well, I'm going to enjoy this uh, salted caramel hot chocolate, uh, but this is what's happening at SJ1.